My grandson made fun of me uh, one day and he shows this old man walking bent over. That can't be me. We had come to the realization that something had to change. That sustainability that I got from Boomer Fitness that's going to make not just this change at this point of time, but I am going to have a better lifestyle going forward because of what I've learned and what I've taken away. My name is Brian Stecker from Boomer Fitness, and I'm here with one of our successful transformation uh, clients, Rod Williams. And we're bringing Rod to you today to share his um, success with the program. Uh, how's your morning going so far, Rod? So far, really good. Up and at it. <laughs> awesome. Up and at it. Um, so um, just kind of wanted to talk to you about when you first started the program with Boomer Fitness. You know, what, what was the biggest thing that you were struggling with before starting the program? Well, at, at the time we reached out to you, I had just retired after many, many years and several different careers. But the last one was I spent 16 years working out of an office in my home on a computer uh, with teams across the country and very, very sedentary. So my weight had gotten to the highest it ever been. Um, my fitness was poor. Uh, when I walked, uh, my grandson made fun of me uh, one day. He, he likes to mimic people, and he shows this old man walking bent over, and and you know, and I saw myself in that, and I said, that can't be me. And I started paying attention, and it was that my fitness was not where it should be, not where it had been. So I was very very worried about that. And I wanted a long retirement so I can enjoy my grandkids. That, that's where I was struggling at that time. But then you might remember, Brian, that it was my wife, Patricia, Pat, who called you. Yeah, so um, I put the post on Facebook. That's how a lot of people find this, or I put it on YouTube. And Pat, his wife, sent me a message, you should really reach out to Rod on this. And I, I remember reaching out maybe a couple months earlier and say, hey, Rod, how's it going? How's this? And you're like, hey, I'm, I'm doing really well. And um, and then Pat said, reach out. So I reached out to you and then you were ready, uh, ready mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah, she told me she'd reached out. We, we had trained with you before and you'd helped us through a time when both of us were going through multiple medical procedures and all. So we we had a lot of confidence in you. Um, and, and that gave me the uh, the willingness, if you wish, to to try the program there was something that was interesting that you just said is there's some studies out there where people um you where you where you said you know what i didn't see myself like that and there's studies out there where people when they're overweight they'll look uh they'll be obese themselves but what well, their definition of obese is when they look at somebody that person is 10 to 15 pounds heavier than what than where they were so a lot of people They'll say, you know what, I'm good, I'm okay, because I'm not as bad as that person. And that's never a good place to start from. So um, that's kind of an interesting point that you brought that up that your grandson, he, he, he pointed that out in kind of like a, a jokingly, a joking mm -hmm. fashion, but that gave you perspective to be like, okay, maybe maybe that's not where I, I wanna be. And, and for some people it's seeing a picture, like they see a picture or they go on a hike we hear that so often here uh, from clients from Boomer Fitness is they go on a hike and they can't make it all the way through that full hike. So that was a really interesting perspective that you you broke down there. What kind of things were you doing before? Like you, you have a standard too of your physical health and fitness. And that was another good point you brought up there is you have a standard. You're like, I wasn't as fit as I used to be and my weight wasn't where it used to be. What was what was that standard for yourself? and and how did you kind of get away from that? Well, well, I'm a retired military and in the military, I was in a career field where I had to maintain a very high level of uh, physicality uh, for worldwide mobility and other factors. And um, uh, when I retired, I was very fit and, and very able. And, and uh, I had lost a lot of that. We, we recently, well, right, shortly before I, I reached out to you and probably one of the impetus for, for Pat to reach out to you, 
was we'd gone on a, a long vacation and Pat was having physical issues pre-surgery and she had limitations. Uh, and so there were reasons why she couldn't keep up, uh, but she struggled through and did, and I'm struggling to keep up with her. It just kept signaling to me that you're not where you need to be. You can't, you know, we were in London, we were sightseeing, lots of walking, and we were constantly having to stop and say, we'll catch up or let them go ahead and do something. And we'd get, meet up with them later. And, and it just wasn't where, where we had been before and where we wanted to be at that particular time. So we had come to the realization that something had to change. Right. So that's important for people to realize at home is there's no perfect starting point. So a lot of people say, I'm going to, I'm going to get started when I reach a certain level of fitness or health. A lot of times that never changes. So it's, it's good. You, you pointed that out there. Um, I know you mentioned that Pat was kind of like the, kind of the boot that gave you so, the metaphor. <laughs> she has been all my life, 50 years, and she's been the boot in my butt ever many times. <laughs> you, got, you got a good one then. What were you personally skeptical with before getting started? Well, I'm, I'm always there's the money consciousness. Uh, it, it, it is a cost. Um, and, and I want to know that I'm going to get uh, an, an appropriate level of ben benefit for that, that investment. Um, so I looked at it and kind of wondered, you know, will I or won't I? Because I can go back to other things I've done, other fitness efforts, 24-hour uh, uh, fitness or whatever, not naming a gym specifically, but, but joining it. And then all of a sudden I find myself not following through. So my concern wasn't that would the program work, it's could I make it work for me over the long term. I didn't want this to be a short term weight loss boomerang back two years later yep. or, or less. I wanted this to be a lifestyle change. Did your program give me wherewithal for me to make that kind of change and make it sustain? And, and when I looked at it after we talked, um, I felt that, that this was a, a good opportunity for me. It was a good fit. Um, so that's what that overcame my skepticism. Again, my skepticism wasn't so much with the program. That's a great point right there is, can you make it a sustainable lifestyle after that? Because anybody can lose the weight or get in a little better physical fitness. Right. Oh, you know it's working when it sticks and you're able to maintain that current level of life, which relates to the first point that you said is, uh, I hear so many people say it, like they go back to what they know and you were in a different place in life when you were doing the things that you know. So a lot of clients I work with, if they're male, they were a college athlete. So they try to go back and do the college athlete thing or the military thing. But what they don't realize is, physically their body changed, but two, their life has changed. So maybe they have a different work schedule. Maybe they have different family demands in their life. So finding a way to make this sustainable for your current lifestyle and where your current condition is, is what's going to make that stick for the long term and then to build those habits. So it's good that you pointed that out is you can always try to go back to it. And, and most often than not, it doesn't stick because you know, like Einstein says, the same level of thinking is not going to get you the next level result. So if you had that level of thinking, you would already have those results in your life. So that was very profound that you said that, but also very powerful because you've identified that you need to make this a new lifestyle change. So that's really, really great there. Um, there's there. I could probably give you a, a whole list of breakthroughs that you had because I'm an outside <laughs> and you're probably like, Oh, Brian, you're just saying that to, to fire me up. But from your perspective, what was your first big breakthrough with the, the Boomer Fitness program? We've been training for a couple of months and the weight was moving down and um, something came up where my big family was going away on a, on a, a extended weekend trip. Uh, we we're gonna be gone for about four or five nights, um, a cabin by the sea and that sort of thing. and eating at restaurants and, and activity all day, but not necessarily 
the same kind of fitness routines that I was doing at the time. So my concern was, okay, this is real life. I want to do this, but can I sustain through it? Because uh, you're not going to be there. I'm not going to be going to the, the Boomer Fitness for my workout. So how am I going to juggle everything else and still stay in shape? And I was able to do it for a multitude of reasons, the apps, the, the dieting, the, the, the routine that you'd got me into, uh, the habits that I'd picked up. I was able to manage my diet, even in eating at very nice restaurants where the choices on the menu you know, were not that conducive to weight loss. Uh, so you had to pick and choose and you had to deny this and take this other instead. And I had learned to, to start doing that and I was able to do it successfully through that. And I was able to find times and ways to get in the exercise I needed to have that balance of diet and exercise during that trip. So it gave me the confidence that I can do this. It's not just Boomer Fitness controlling it's not just the program I've learned and I can continue to learn and I can build a sustainable uh, lifestyle out of this and, and still enjoy myself. That's, that, that was very important. I didn't want to have to give everything up and sit there and, and watch everybody eat this, this great food and I'm not doing anything. I still had good things to eat. I just made better choices. Yeah, that's that's powerful right there because a lot of people in their mind say like, uh, I'm gonna start it on on Monday, right? That's the old saying I get. Or I'm gonna start it after New Year's because they think during the holidays they have to give something up, or they think it's painful, or they think, hey, I'm gonna they go out through the whole weekend and they'll have the food they want to eat and the drinks they want to have because Monday is gonna be the start date of their 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 diet, so they look at it as this painful thing. Um, and they, you've learned like, hey, I can find foods that I enjoy. I can have foods that I enjoy and still reach my goals. I don't have to do a specific gym workout all the time to get the result that I want. And I remember that the conversation, that first big breakthrough, that conversation we had is you're like, hey, I'm going out of town. Uh, and I remember this and I had to stop you for a second. I don't know if you remember this or not, but it was coming to the end of the training session and you were saying, I'm a 50th um, anniversary mm -hmm. and um, I'm going to be out of town. And I just have to let you know when I come back, I'll probably be five or seven pounds heavier. And, and what happened in that moment, Rod? Uh, there was a realization that um, well, I was not having confidence and accountability to myself uh, was a big thing. It, it, it just dawned on me that do I really think I'm just going to put on this weight and take it off. And, and you coached me through that. Yeah, absolutely. It was like, there. I was like, Rod, you know, there's ways where you can go on your vacation. You can still have the food that you enjoy having and come back without any weight gain. And what happened when you came back from that trip? We were happy, no weight gain. Uh, so, so we, 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 we didn't, I had thought previously to that conversation that, well, we're going to go away. I'm going to enjoy myself and I'm going to pay for it when we get back. I'll just have to hustle double time and lose this same five pounds again and then, then get back on track. And you gave me good advice and counsel that, that helped me work through that. So I didn't have to bounce up and then, and, then uh, beat it down again. I, I was able to sustain through it and I did enjoy myself during that vacation. Example, one of the exercises we did, uh, daughter was there and we were able to go out for a walk on the beach and much longer than I normally would have done or, or anything. And we just got to talking. So, so when, when one of the things I enjoy most at this stage of my life is when I get one-on-one -on -one or, or good times with my daughters, my son, my uh, grandchildren, um, you know, that, that to me is, is, is the spice moments of life. And, yeah. and so we were able to use some of those to get my exercise in. Yeah, so you know what's uh, great about that is, I always tell people it's not about losing weight, it's not about the program, it's what the program's gonna mean to you. And right there you said like, you wanna have a better quality of life. 
So you actually got to experience that also. You have you're having deeper connections with your family. Like normally you would have cut the, the 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 walk off, but maybe there was a time where you're in that walk where you need to let some time go by or people process things a certain way to have that deeper conversation. So in the past, maybe that conversation doesn't happen, but now you're having those conversations and you're getting that quality of life now that you really desire. So that that's powerful right there. Um, and, and I think the breakthrough was more than that one breakthrough because later on, I think you had some fam, like it was, it was like eight more, uh, months down the road while you were doing the program is you make that one breakthrough there you had family come in town mm -hmm. you had another event come up where you had to go across the country but what happened is you made that one breakthrough and even though your whole month went the heck you didn't hit the goal that you wanted to for that month and but you still were down i think like two pounds and you gained right. some muscle whereas in the past if your whole life would have broke out what would have normally happened during that time frame, usually it would have been a much greater um, get weight gain. Uh, I, I wouldn't have exercised as much. I wouldn't have done as much, and so I it, it would have collapsed. And and what would have happened then, especially if I had was past the, the training program and now sustaining on my own, that just gives you the excuses not to continue. It's That's not right. going to work. That sort of thing. But I was able to see that this can work. I can adjust. I can get through this. And if I have a little bit of weight gain here and there, I know how to address it. But most yeah. importantly, I can avoid the big weight gains and still enjoy myself and still be out with the kids and the grandkids. That's right. Cause during, when everyone starts that first goal, either it's a birthday with the zero Dan, either it's a retirement it could be, or, it's, or it's New Year's, a big event. They make a decision like, now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get it. I'm going all in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna achieve this goal. What, what ends up happening is there is going to be some adversity that comes up. You get a cold or you got to travel out of town or uh, something comes up in your week that doesn't normally go your way. So you are you were able to make the breakthrough to make sure that you made that a sustainable life, lifestyle for yourself, even during a hectic time. So really commend you for that. So um, we're almost, we're approaching a year on this now. What specific results have you received from the transformation program? Uh, probably the biggest is not actually the weight loss, which has been very good. I've, I've lost nearly all of the weight that I wanted to lose. I set a target with you of getting down to the my weight where I was when I first retired from the Air Force in my mid 40s. And I'm not in my mid 40s anymore. Um, but we're only a few pounds away from that. And, and I'm going to achieve that by the end of in, end of our, our program, uh, our, our schedule right now. Uh, I have full confidence on that. But my fitness has, has significantly changed. I can, can do things now that I didn't think I'd be able to do before. I can go for those long walks and long hikes. You mentioned that we had family coming in, our fit friends family coming in from outside. And we did the normal Northwest thing of let's go for a walk and let's go see the, the great beauties of the Northwest. And every day I was out there doing long walks and, and that sort of things where I would not have been able to do those previously. My back pain, my hip pain, my other issues would have prevented me from even trying to do it, but I was able to do it. But the biggest thing I have gained, Brian, is personal accountability and awareness that I can do this, I can sustain. It started with my accountability to you as my trainer and having to use the apps and use the virtual sessions and other things to, to fill in when I needed to and one thing and another, the, the tools were there. And, and now I've learned how to use them and how to fit them into my lifestyle and how to, to work with them so that I can sustain when I'm the one I, that I'm accountable to. That's really the long-term sustaining goal is not gaining the weight back, not becoming sedentary again, um, but continuing to be able to, to do the right things to, to maintain. Um, you know, once I, I reach that weight, I, I'm not necessarily in a weight loss program, but I do want to be in a sustaining program where I'm not gonna put the weight back on. Yeah, so now it's like, you know, 
in the past where if you did a transformation program, you know, you, you grinded it out, you fought it out, you lost the weight. And it's not only about the weight, you've done great with that, but then you regress in your physical capability, right. you regress by gaining the weight back. So then again, that affects your quality of life. So the biggest breakthrough for you is making this an enjoyable process so that yes. way you can enjoy the quality of your life long term. My lifestyle has definitely changed, Brian. My lifestyle has definitely changed. And also, I find my friends and my kids and others, when we get together, they're also attentive to this as well. Uh, an example, we, we have a big barbecue by the pool or something like this. Not only are we having all the great uh, sides and, and desserts and everything else, but there's always good things to eat now. Yeah. Because they're thinking of, of me as well and it's affecting others. Because uh, they're finding they enjoy that too. That's powerful. It's a, you, I, I've seen that with another uh, transformation client of ours. He just finished up a year with us. And uh, I always say to him, like, you did this, but look at how many other people's lives that you transform, like his twin daughters, his coworker, his business partner, literally like 15 to 20 people in his circle in one year decided to make a transformation. Like you've made that ripple effect in your family. Like you're, you're changing your grandchildren's uh, future because they're looking at you and they're like, you know, the standard is, is when I get older, I don't have to be hunched over walking down the street. Um, I don't have to, you know, take a handful of pills. You know, I can be healthy and fit as an older individual. And this is how we eat. This is the standard of how we eat. So it's powerful that you're not only transforming you, but you're tra transforming your kids and your grandchildren by your actions and making that transformation. That That's deep there. That's really deep. Not something I expected to be talking about with you today. <laughs> proud of you for that, Rod. That's, that's really awesome. You set that standard. Thanks. So... Um, who would you really recommend this transformation program for? Uh, I, I really think it's good for just about any of the boomers who have specific issues, whether it's, it's not just about weight loss. It may be fitness. It may be that, that, that weak hip, that, that bad knee, um, but, but they've got issues that are keeping them from exercising uh, significantly or, or as much as they should and exercising the right way. I, I believe if they, you know, I, I have seen your trainers working with different people with different issues and their abilities to focus on that and help them figure out how to work around that where they're not injuring that knee as they work out, but they're strengthening that knee uh, or they're strengthening that lower back that has become painful because they're of that weaker knee or hip, uh, those kinds of things. Um, if, if, if I've got a friend who's got physical ailments like that and, and they're not medical surgical things that they need to do, and maybe even with those, um, I, I would certainly encourage them to, to, to reach out and, and work with you. Uh, they may not need a uh, significant weight loss. Yeah but they, they may love, need to be back in shape where they can enjoy um, our latter years. These are supposed to be golden years, but you, you know what? Uh, sometimes people don't want to add new, more years to this, this end of life. They want to add more years to the middle and the beginning of life. Well, with your fitness program, this end of life can be more like the middle. That's right. So it's, it's you see in that better lifestyle, and a lot of times people just give up. They, when they have an issue, they just give up. They're like, hey, because of this bad knee, I can never do this again. Because I had a hip replacement, right. I can never do this again. They let that become the limiting factor to enjoy. Maybe that they have 20 good years left, but because they don't find a way to deal with those issues, their quality of life decreases even more versus say someone like yourself who deals with those issues you're able to extend out those years of the quality, quality lives that you have left. Out of those 20 years, you're getting 80% of those years maximized because you're dealing, you're taking those issues head on and learning how to work around them. And that's another thing too, is people think, 
yeah, exercise has to be painful or making a transformation has to be painful. It's addressing the conditions where you are, meeting you there and getting you there. So it's it's good it's good you brought that up because I work with a client and they're 100 right on everything works great. Some of them, they, things don't move like they used to. So things crunch. Right. Things don't have the range of motion. So it's good you brought that up. If you had a friend Rod that was sitting on the fr- on the fence and they're like, hmm, maybe I should do this. Maybe should I don't? They have their limiting beliefs. Like yeah, it's it's quite the investment. Or uh, you know I don't know if I want to put the time into it. Or will it work for me? And they're sitting on the fence. What would you do to kick them over the fence? Well, one thing I realized is if I just go in and say, hey, you need to talk to Boomer Fitness or something of that nature, they can they can help you. Oh, yeah, thanks a lot. Um, I'll, I'll do that one of these days. But I think what works well is to, to show them how my life has changed, what I've gained out of it, and how it worked for me. So an, an example is I was showing somebody recently the app I use to track my diet my diet um, and and we added in a few of the things that uh, he had eaten that day and he was amazed at, at the calorie content and the fat content and the carbs and all and the fact that there was very little protein in there he thought he was having a great day um, but when he saw it he realized that, that it wasn't as good as he thought it was and so there was a lot of learning um, so, so I, I think just demonstrating um, what I have gained and what I will be able to do going forward as a result of my relationship with Boomer Fitness, I think that's, that's a big part of it. Um, but mostly it's about sharing with them the confidence that the program will work and it will work to help change their lifestyle so they can sustain after the program. It's not just about getting in and losing your goal weight. It, it's, it's, it's not just about that. It's not just about getting in and, and getting two workouts a week. You know, it, it's what do you get from it. That's right. That's right, because it's a fitness knows no finish line. It's like you just got to enjoy the journey so showing them that this is something that they can do through being a positive example. So um, any last words of wisdom you want to share with their audience or, or anybody out there sitting at home of what this has meant for you? Well, well one of the big reasons we reached out uh, initially, as I said earlier, with, with Pat reaching out to you was because we had worked out with you before and we had confidence in you. But one of the the things I've I've said this several times before, but one of the things that I have uh, really pulled away from this is my accountability and how I can sustain that sustainability that I got from Boomer Fitness. That's going to make not just this change at this point of time, but I am going to have a better lifestyle going forward because of what I've learned and what I've taken away. I now have access to the apps and how to use them that I can track things. And I will because I've built those habits. Um, I, you can see the, the recumbent bike behind me. I'm still going to continue working out even if I'm not going to the, to the gym. I have built a lifestyle that can sustain. That's Thanks awesome. to you. Thank you, Rod. Thanks for being a shining example to other people of what they can do and that they can enjoy the second half of their life and it's it's more than losing weight it's it's more than a workout it's about going deep having a greater quality of life having those better relationships and finding a way that way you can enjoy the journey of fitness so thank you so much for sharing this today and if any of you out there have enjoyed this video make sure you give this a like give this video a like um, and then also make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that little bell so you can get more great updates from clients like Rod and others who've made a great transformation. And if you're wanting to make a transformation with the Boomer Fitness program, down below, there'll be a link. Um, Just click on the link. That'll take you to my personal schedule. I'll hop on a call with you and we can help customize a specific plan to you. So that way you can make a sustainable lifestyle. Rod, thank you so much today for your time and enjoy the rest of it. It's truly been a pleasure and an honor working with you uh, because you really, uh, you really put in the work for it and it's fulfilling to see the transformations you make. 
Thanks. I'm glad you stuck around to this part of the video and I want to welcome you to the Boomer Fitness Transformation Program. This program is a customized program to help you cut through all the noise to put together a specific strategy around your goals and that helps you create it around your lifestyle to create a uh, long-term sustainable approach. So this program is for you if you value uh, having an in-depth view and getting a strategy that's going to work for you long term. It's for somebody like yourself if you want a strategy that's going to help you transform. And then the third thing is if you're excited with working with me to help you create a customized sustainable plan so that way we can hit your goals. The good news is that I have a few spots open for this program. Now when you enroll for one of these calls, it's not going to guarantee that you're going to get one of the spots in my customized coaching program. And the other thing is when we hop on this call, it is not a coaching call. If you want one of these spots, just down below in the description, click on the, the link and schedule a time with myself. We'll hop on a call. I'll find out what your goals are and we can see if this is going to be a good fit for you. And then I look forward to working with you. Have yourself a great day.